In this lesson, you will learn about the identity property of multiplication and division. This is a nice tool to remember when you are multiplying and dividing because it makes your life really easy. Basically, it says that any number multiplied or divided by one stays the original number. So no matter what number you have, if you have five and you multiply it by one, you have five groups of one or one group of five, the answer is five. Same with division. If you have five and you divide it into one group, you have five in that group, okay? Can make a bigger number. Let's say 366. If we multiply it by one, we get that original number, 366. Same with division. 366 divided by one equals 366, okay? You can go super big if you wanted to. Um, 4,259 times one is simply that same number, 4,259. Same with division, 4,259 divided by one equals 4,259. Okay, and that's the end of our lesson on the identity property of multiplication and division.